everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, so today we are working on my countdown to the new year, and there is six days left until New Year's. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this countdown. I am so glad you guys have printed out my freebie, which is linked in the description below. You've also been supporting the other ladies who are linked in the description below and are joining me on this countdown. They are Brooke from Bees Budgets and Lucy from G&K Designs and Budgeting, and they have freebies for you. We're doing a giveaway at the end of it on New Year's Eve, and I'm so excited. So as I said, there is six days left to go, which means we will be saving $6 in my countdown to the new year. So five, six, and I'm gonna grab out my marker and color in the six. Did you guys have a amazing Christmas? I really wanna know. Let me know how it went. What did you guys do? Do you have any special traditions? Um, we just did the whole like Santa comes at night wake up in the morning and all the presents are under the tree. Um, Finn was so excited to see all the presents and to open them up. We had left some cookies for Santa the night before. So he was just really excited. It was such a great day. And then we had family come over um, after that. And yeah, so we had like a big Christmas dinner, like during the day with family and, and it was just a nice celebration and a good time with family so six dollars going into this challenge here let's grab it out and we'll add it in and then let's see how much this envelope has we have 5 10 11 12 13 so why don't we take the two fives and swap it out for 10 and 10 11 12 13 will stay with the challenge in this cute little envelope which i love again my freebie is down below for you guys um so check it out if you want to join me um okay so let's go ahead oh no no i remember i stopped at this one and i wanted to continue from there so to be fair let's do that and let's start with this holiday baking one here this one is from divine savings co super super cute and there are three in this challenge so let's grab them out and maybe we will do a little on each wouldn't that be nice hmm hopefully we can so i think we can i mean we have enough money i just definitely want to make sure that money sticks around for um for the countdown so let's go ahead and give a roll on this and see how much we're saving with this cute little cookie five okay so it looks like it's going to be a five kind of day here so we got five, and then we do a five over here, and that'll be 10. And I think I will call it and just hang on and not do one on there. So let's put a, five, a 10 down for that five. And then I definitely want to color in, I think what I wanna do is just the cocoa right here. And I'm just gonna color the mug in red, cause how cute is that? And then we'll leave like the cocoa with the marshmallows just like that. This is such a cute challenge. I wish I could get like super fancy and like do a bunch of different colors, but I'm keeping it basic over here. Okay, so a beautiful red mug of cocoa for five and a five for 10. And that is what I am putting into this one today. So let's get out the envelope and let's see if there's another challenge that I want to do. So I definitely want to um, work on the Christmas list. So why don't we do that one too? So let's pull out this money. We'll add our $10 in and we have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, $28 in the holiday baking from Divine Savings Co. How cute is that? All right, let's get out this one from Lisa Grateful Me over at the Happy Mailbox Co. Okay, so, uh-oh, I forgot my paper clip. Oh no. Okay, we have to paper clip it, otherwise things go flying and I don't want that. <laughs> I've had that happen, okay? Cannot forget my paper clip. Okay, so this is the Christmas bucket list. And again, this is from the Happy Mailbox Co. 
and oh I'm so excited so I want to do a few more on here and this one gets to be a little bit pricey which is again why I didn't do all three in the last one bake Christmas cookies yes so as I said we did bake some Christmas cookies for Santa with some carrots and left it by the tree um, so that's going to be three dollars so I think I need to put one two three I think I need to put it as I go otherwise I won't be able to count it up um, so we'll do that. Write a letter to Santa. Yes. So we did that as well. So Finn wrote a letter to Santa. It was the cutest thing. Obviously I wrote it out, but I, I told him like, I was like, what do you want to ask for Santa for Christmas? And I was like, hello, Santa, I would like, and he said he wanted a cake pop. So you can tell the kid likes Starbucks just like me. <laughs> he wanted a cake pop. He wanted cars and he wanted dinosaurs. So that is what he asked Santa for. And he made sure to mention that he has been a very good boy and that he is on the nice list. So I'm sure Santa was super happy with the letter. And of course, come Christmas morning, there were cars and dinosaurs and he did happen to get a cake pop or two. So that, that was writing a letter to Santa. We need to put our $3 for that. So we'll go five, six, right? Cause that's what we're up to. I'll keep my ones. So five, six so far and then make a gingerbread house. Oh yes, we did this. So we actually made, it was like a little train gingerbread train set. I'm going to put some photos in right now because it was so super cute. Um, one, two, three, I'm putting my $3 down for that. We got it and I knew that Finn really wouldn't be able to do too much of it, but he got into it with us. Like he was like putting some sprinkles on and some decorations. And so it was really fun. And then he talked about that gingerbread house for days. He was like, he kept wanting to eat it. And I'm like, buddy, it's like really hard now. <laughs> like there's really not much eating happening of the gingerbread house three days later. But he loved it. He had so much fun. So that's awesome. Donate to a food drive. Yes, I actually did do that. So I get another $3 for that. So let's add one, two, three, and then let's count it up and swap it so that we can keep going and see what else I have on the list. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we'll leave two down and we'll go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So let's grab the 10. Perfect. So that's our 12 there. So wear Christmas socks. I'm going to say yes, because we actually got Bombas for Christmas and they're super comfy and cozy and I absolutely love them. So they were the socks that I got for Christmas. So I'm calling it wear Christmas socks. So we need to put $3 for that. So one, two, three. Perfect. So that gives me 15 now. So why don't we swap these ones? If I swap as I go, one, two, three, four, five, hopefully I will have enough and hopefully I'm not forgetting any as I go. Okay. So kiss under the mistletoe. Actually, no, because I was expecting there to be mistletoe when we went to Vanessa's mom's Christmas party, but there wasn't. So that didn't happen. That's sad. Uh, we'll definitely get a kiss for New Year's. So maybe I'll hang up some mistletoe then or something just so I can get my three bucks. Okay. So then go ice skating. No, that has not happened yet, but I'm hoping that it does. Me and Vanessa have been talking about buying Finn some little skates. I think it would be super fun to get him started and see how he likes ice skating. Obviously, her growing up in Canada, skating is a big thing. Um, I always learned to skate when I was young. My brother did hockey, so I definitely want him to learn, and I think this year would be a great year for that, but not yet. Um, okay, and then build a snowman. Yes, we did build a snowman. I'm going to have to put in one, two, three. There's my $3. I'm gonna have to put in another photo because how cute is this snowman? So my dad actually, he has like a, Finn calls it a tractor. I guess it's a tractor. Um, it's like a small little bucket loader tractor thing. And he loves to go to Papa's house and ride on the tractor. So when we were down there, my dad like lifted up some big pieces, big chunks of ice and they like put together this snowman. He's definitely wonky looking, but like, I was like, Finn, what does the snowman need? And he's like, a carrot. And then he was like, eyes. And he was like, a hat and a scarf. So like, he was like saying all the things. It was so cute. He had so much fun building that snowman with Papa. And yeah, that was super fun. 
Okay, so, and I already put my three for that. So the next one is put on a cozy sweater. So yes, definitely. I have been wearing my cozy sweater um, all month long. I love it. It's comfy. It's a knit one. Um, it's not like a Christmassy one, but it's definitely cozy comfy. So we're putting our three for that. So one, two, three. I'm not going to have any money left to continue with my countdown if I keep putting all the money to this challenge, but I like to just go all the way through and that way I can see what I have left. So let's swap out some more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Take five, put five here. And we've got 20 here. So 10, 15, 20. We'll take the 20 and we'll put a 20. Okay, so we just have a few more left on here. So read Christmas book. Yes, absolutely. We have read Christmas books. So um, on Christmas Eve, I sat down with Finn the night before, obviously Christmas morning, and we read like the classic Christmas books. And that was super sweet. He was actually really engaged with those. So I was happy. He seemed to really enjoy it. So I'm checking off Christmas book as a yes. One, two, three. We'll put $3 down for that one. And then make an advent wreath. I'm going to say no. I don't know what that is. I've never made an advent wreath. If you guys have done that, let me know in the comments below because I don't know what that is. If that's a thing, like I want to learn. I want to know because that sounds fun. Okay, but we did not do that. But visit friends and family. Yes, absolutely we did. As I said, um, let's put the three. One, two, three. We went to Canada and it was so nice. Um, like I said, Vanessa's mom does a big party every year on Christmas Eve. And so we went to that and just had such a fun time. There were so many friends, family, like everyone was there. It was really a good time. There was amazing food. We love it. So we definitely had a good time visiting friends and family there. So we put the money for that. So let's count all this up and see how much money this challenge got today. And we've got 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're going to swap out. And we'll swap it out for a 5. So again, 20, 5, 6, 7. So that's what's going into the Christmas bucket list. Now, there's only a few left. Kiss under the mistletoe, make an advent wreath, and go ice skating. I think these two can definitely happen. If you guys tell me what an advent wreath is, maybe, but other than that, it might not happen. So potentially two more before I can close out this Christmas bucket list, which is really exciting. So let's put this money in the envelope. Okay, so here it is, and here is the envelope for this one. How stinking cute is it? Okay, and we have 30 in there from before, and we're adding in the 27. So 30, uh, 50, 55, 56, 57 is in this one in total right now. And I will make sure to put the paper clip back on. And that is where I am going to stop today. So hopefully we can hit this one tomorrow. I was going to say next, but yes, it would be tomorrow. So let's see how much we're rolling over to tomorrow's video. We have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So $40, which is awesome. And let's put this back in the cash tray over here. And that is it. We have saved some money. We have done our countdown to the new year. Again, hopefully you guys have gotten that freebie and you are joining me. Let me know in the comments below if you are. And hopefully you have checked out the other ladies. And hopefully you're subscribed to this channel because you will get another video tomorrow from me. I'm doing a video a day in December. I cannot believe it. I'm keeping it rolling. But that is going to be it for today's video. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.